What is going on guys? It's Jason to Five Gunner here and I am at Hong Kong Con Convention and Exhibition Center. Bloody hell. One of the most like popular attractions in Hong Kong and I cannot even remember the name correctly. But anyways, I am here at ACGHK as you can see right there. So I'm gonna be touring around the Gundam Expo in this episode and well that's probably going to be the only video of ACJSK 2018. I have been waiting for a year. This ACJSK 2017 seems like yesterday when I watched the video back. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm expecting some, like, nah, some mediocre releases at least. So, yep. I'm going to get back to you guys once I get in there. And here I am in the expo. So now I did say maybe this would be the only video, but apparently not because Gunpla Builders World Cup 2018's display pieces are all here. So I'm gonna be doing a separate video to address that. So, um, yep, let's head right there. Look at the Gundam 00 Diver. Surprising they didn't make a sculpture for the Diver Ace though. So, yeah. <laughs> I was honestly struggling where to start because well it's just a small booth and there's nothing really to start with. So yep, they started with this guy, the Master Grade Avalanche Exia. Dash. So yep, this guy is coming out when I had didn't read anything. There is apparent I, I read it. There's apparently nothing saying about his release date, but I think it is coming out like in the next school year, like September, October, like early autumn or early fall, as you guys some of you guys may call it. And the Master Grade Exia, well, while it looks alright, the dash gear just actually, like, absolutely look up. Well, too bad. I, I think the blades are chrome by default, I'm not sure, or maybe not. But yeah, obviously the quality depends on the builder, but yeah, you guys, Exia fans, one more Exia variant on your shelf. And since this is the nearest thing I can get to without anybody in the way, here's the P Bandai shop. So, I don't know what that thing is. The, the G parts, probably to make the Super Hazel. I got them TR1 Hazel Custom, Avan Advanced Hazel, and then Combat Deployment Colors, like the G parts. And all this advanced equipment here. I think they were released in the high grade, I'm not so sure. I'm really not a big follower of like the Advance of Seda manga line. But all in all, these guys look awesome. And the P band at price tag actually kinda makes sense because well, look at the many parts that you have in the kits. Looking awesome to have the Hazel Twins in your shelf in Master Grade form. And some bonus stuff to go along with the gun pockets in this expo. Some P band and I plastic folders of the Wing Gun of Zero and the Toggies. And over here we have the special clear version of the real great real grade Wing Zero EW. And over here look at this. There is a titanium finished real grade Toggies, which doesn't look at all different in the in the naked eye. Both the gold and the red looks a bit different, but the gray and the white is still that that gray and the gloss white that it came with. So there is not much of a difference. It's probably cheaper to paint it. It costs 450 Hong Kong dollars, and it would be shipped in November. And also here we have the Wing Gun Zero Titanium finish, and also the wing parts. Which is pretty cool. I don't know how you how you combine living feathers into a Gundam model, but whatever. And here we have the poly ball, poly pod ball, which looks absolutely awesome. Let me get it clear. It looks, it's the ball crawler. Seriously, paint this guy in black, and you have it in Batman then. And then we have the Gundam Stormbringer over here, and then the GM White Dingo custom, GM Cannon White Dingo team. Shin Masanaka's Gelgu Jaeger and the Johnny Ryan's Gelgu Type 89 base jabber which is a Re100 model and also the bland Zeta Gundam basically a reprint with extra red parts so I don't think there's anything to look forward to the Zeta because it is 
practically the same kit with just like physical red pieces instead of disgusting red stickers. But in my in my opinion, this guy doesn't deserve to be released at all. But let me know you, your opinions. And of course, over here we have some news. Gundam Dogs at Hong Kong is going to be coming in August, well soon, well after my summer school, I'm going to be going there and showing you guys what it has to offer. A lot of Gundam things held in Hong Kong today. And here we have some Expo exclusive stuff that you guys are going to be able to look at just. So, real grade clear Sinanju, double rise clear, this is the real grade. A metallic gloss injection build strike on the full package SD. Barbatos Lucas Rex, clear. Barzam, clear. Gunner Astro Gold Ray with a special coating over there, which is a Master Grade. Re 100 E3, clear. And then the Master Grade Justice Gundam, clear. Master Grade Talgy special coating. Special fatigue, guys, I'm not going to be mentioning anything about. The 2.0 Hyakushiki with a mechanical clear version. So if you are a mechanical geek, you can see all the insides working its way to form the pose that you want. Metallic Gloss Injection Unicorn got the Master Grade over here, which they still did an, a bad transformation. The shield is not transformed fully, and the feet are not transformed at all. And then we had the clear 00 Gundam 7 Sword G in clear, which looks pretty cool with the deeper blue and stuff. And yeah, I'm not going to be getting any of these, sorry. And right here is the tactical arms. Or maybe the entire perfect grade Astray Red Frame Kai. With the tactical arms Kai, I think it's called. I'm not sure, it's the, it's the replica for the blue frame. But honestly, not a lot of Gundams use a crossbow and this guy does pop in the uniqueness, uniqueness department. And of course, you can be mounted in the backpack if you're anal about weight issues. It also comes with an extra katana and an extra sheath, which honestly looks pretty cool. I hope they get something. I get a tactical arms for the red frame, real great, because I'm I'm seriously thinking of using the tactical arms as Sagittarius's like bow. Uh, since not, not a lot of Gundams use bows, let alone traditional bows, except for the Rising Gundam and the Full Armor Knight Gundam, this guy has the closest thing that resembles a bow, if it is not traditional. And in the release kit form. Right next to it is pretty loud, the, te the television is right above the casing, so I have to speak louder here, I have no choice, but there is a cross silhouette frame. SDs, which I think we're gonna be getting with the Zeromaru, I'm not sure. So here are the releases that just came out. Really not sure what they are advertising down here. I have to get one of these kits to see for myself, but these guys do look pretty cool in their updated forms. They have a more like Closer to realistic as like aesthetic, but at the same time pertaining the clumsiness and cuteness of SDs. How cute and how wonderful of Bandai! And the second closest thing next to me is the uh, what? The Mobile Kapool Custom Expo. So here is basically everybody doing Mobile Kapool customs of the build fighters and build divers line of kits. So we have the Gera Giraga with the cute little like mini Kapool. We have the GM3B Matthew, double O Diver, A2 Magnum even? How did they scratch build that freaking thing? Ogre Jinx, Tri Burning, uh what? The Grimoire? The Gabaldi Rebake? The Cerebi Share Razad, and I believe I'm not missing any. Yeah, and that's Star Real Strike. Or the Cosmos. Build Strike Gundam Cosmos. Whatever you want to call it, it's the same freaking thing. New releases over here with the bloody annoying screen on the bar on the top. So I have no choice. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. So we had the double O diver ace. That's not the freaking ace. Get it right together. So that's the double O diver in the background. Momo Kapul GM. Three B Master and it has the Jayan Kai Yuki Custom over here. 
which is basically ripping off the uh, X Gundam and the double Lexus backpack and taping it onto the Jagan. So, this guy still has a Gundam snout, so I am probably interested in getting this guy if you guys want me to review it, of course. And then we have the Gamaldi Break and the RX Zero Maru, and with the real mode. I am so happy that you guys want me to review this guy because I'm interested myself in how practical the transformation gimmick works. Looks like, oh, the bird is over there. So, I am interested to know how it transforms, and so do you guys, because probably most of you guys watching would have the nightmare of transforming the star winning Gundam and having everything just fall to pieces and basically regretting buying that kit. So, I am so happy that you guys want me to review that guy. So, um, yep, look forward to it later, later in August. So, we had the Cerevi Sharazan and the Gian Ultron. Probably gonna go into a fight together next time in the episodes. But the Gian Ultron, I can buy it if I want to. I do want to because I want to save up some money. Although I have a freaking thousand dollars this month, so I have more than enough money to survive the month. But yeah, and then the Gian Ultron looks good. And I will fully bet they will release an Ultron or the Shunno later on. And here's the asteroid no name with no weapons whatsoever, except for the binders, and I don't know what, the gauntlets over there, and apparently we are going to be getting like a metallic yellow sticker, for the uh, activated nitro system, so yeah, and I am so disappointed that the cloak is not Maru. It's not Maru. It is Maru right now, which is why I'm disappointed. It is not black. So I'm probably going to be spraying every piece that is maroon into black piece. So, yeah. Uh, it's not going to be like a straight out of the box review, so yeah. Excuse that. And then we have the uh, Gundam Type B set, which is, well, the, the, the Gundam, Gundam Sky, higher than Sky face. And, uh, the, and the two Impulse Gundams from Team Avalon. And also we have the Super Shock Gundam over here, which is basically customizable with every kit of yours. The Super Shock Gundam looks eh, alright, but it's just basically five kits combined together into a Melazor Gundam. So yeah, here we go. And the old releases right here. The Garagiraga review is coming once I kick my ass out of the bed. And, oh my god. Oh my god. I have to read this. And then the balls, the harrows over here. Seriously, I'm most looking forward to the asteroid no name. But, uh, yep. If you guys want me to review the Gundam Double Sky, feel free to put it in the comments below. I'm going to be reviewing the asteroid no name and the R0 Maru first. So, the Gundam Double Sky will come probably later. I don't know. Put, it, put your suggestions in the comments below. Finally, a case which I do not have to speak loudly with no TV above the set. These are basically just customs of people playing around with parts and coming up with their own customs. What a place to take inspiration for my Plagic Zodiac, which is what I'm calling my project. So, Double Diver combined with Wayne Zero Hono and uh, Probably the real great Wing Zero Custom as well. And then here's the Double O Assault Buster. I don't know what that guy is. Probably still Double O Diver. Everything, everything here is Double O Diver, but basically combined with different kits. So here's the Double O Diver 7 Sword. Double O Diver A7 Sword plus uh, what? The uh, GN Sword 4. I don't know what this guy is. Probably the Double O Diver S E S R. I don't know. I don't know what the builder is calling it. Here's the Barbatos Diver. I'm I'm calling it. I don't know. With the grace with the Grim Garrett parts. Here's just a regular 1.5 Double O Diver. And here's the Lightning Diver. All of these names are just what I can can come up with. Oh yeah, and then the grace combined with the Kutan Type 3 with the Double O Diver over there. Looking pretty cool. And here's the big boy itself, the real great Sazabi, which kind of looks like a master grade. Well, here's my hand, and here, here's the kit. 
I'm not gonna be building this guy because uh, um, yep I want to save my money for something else for my project zodiac obviously but the real world tells me if you guys suggest it enough I may review it not immediately but eventually probably gonna review it probably gonna review it like immediately I'm not sure tell me in the comments below whether or not do you guys want me to review this kit on top of the Zero Maru and the Astro No Name and how much I, I'm if you guys want me to review I'm gonna be depending on the uh, on the price because this is gonna come in a hefty price tag I'm not sure if it is over 200 I may toss a coin to for this one because yeah and then the Mega, oh, mega size. The Master Grade Jagan. Which, the, surprisingly, the real Grade Sazabi has a similar size to. How small is this Jagan? This is an 18 meter Gundam, isn't it? Not a Gundam, but obviously. But yeah, a grunt suit. 18 meter grunt suit, let's call it that. Surprisingly, the real Grade Sazabi just stands up to it. Watch out for the slope here as I come to the High Grade Moon Gundam. I am so looking forward to this guy. This guy, people actually says looks like just like the Asura. Like the initial one that came out, not the red original one. And looking at it now, I'm not a fan of the mechanics of the moon. But just because I can see every single hole and peg over there, so probably gonna paint it solid. I'm not sure you guys may protest to that, but I am looking forward to reviewing the gun the moon. Absolutely one of my first kits to get in September if it ever comes out the first if it's the first kit to come out It does come with a heavy price tag of 3,000 yen, which I'm not sure why But it does have this advanced mechanics of armor separation and stuff. So I have to get it to see it and Take it as me taking the brunt for you guys whether this kit is good or bad Take it as that so don't judge me if I ever buy this kit, so yeah. And here is the, another big boy, the Master Grade Double O Quanta Full Saber. This is a regular release, so all you guys that have Double O Boners, this guy is going to be on the shelf of your house. So this guy does look awesome. Like the normal Quanta looks awesome, which has more realistic aesthetics in the high grade. I don't know if the mold is going to be updated or not, probably not, but uh, yep. With the full saber, it does look pretty awesome. There is a full saber set for the real gray, which I, which I don't get, which I do not want to get because yeah, hefty price tag and stuff. And my double quanta is already having weight issues, so yeah, not trusting the connection is of this one. But yep, this guy is for you all, double O fans. Here's another guy that people are getting hyped about: the high resolution model Ashray Red Frame. It didn't show up the frame like I thought it would, but yeah, this guy looks like a bit derailed from the normal Astro look, especially look at the arms, there are less details than the high grade even, so this guy's gonna get a lot of criticism I imagine, but the chrome blade and the sheath, and why does the sheath have a, has a scope? I don't know why. This guy just comes with more questions than answers than being a straight up kit. And I don't know. Probably this guy's gonna get more hate than love, but I don't know. It's something new the band is trying out. So hopefully they live up to their name. And look at this thing. I am so terrified to look at this. This is the Double O Diver Ace Gold Plated version, which is one of the prizes that we can win in the lucky draw in this exhibition I just hate gold play the kids unless the kit is like basically gold like the Fenex or the Hyakushiki I just hate this like the uh, yellow clear glitter version of it is is far gone enough and this guy's even more far gone with the, the entire kit being gold like Make a metallic red for God's sakes. This th this guy doesn't have the hyper mode. This guy has Trans Am. <laughs> but anyways, this is a decision Bandai is making. So yeah, I am no place to judge. So yeah. So that is gonna be it for the Gumpla Expo of ACJCK 2018. 
it feels kind of empty to be honest because there was not a lot of new releases except for the build divers kids over there and also the real greats and uh, I don't know what else I forgot already I have short term memory loss forgive me but that's gonna be the Gunpla Expo of the CJSK 2018 and tell me in the comments below whether or not you want me to review the real great Sazabi and or the Gundam 00 Sky higher than Sky version so yep that is gonna be it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.